every soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. How it stands with that of God tonight. So uh, uh, do remember the sus pray for the service tonight. Let's pray that the Lord have his will and way in. I thought let's pray that the God will hedge it up. I thought about keep the devil from not getting in. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I thought I was thinking on the way over here today. You know, uh, if you uh, if the Lord wants you to do something, make sure the Lord's in it. Amen. Amen. Because yeah. if you don't, you'll kill. Right. Amen. Amen. So uh, any <coughs> objects of prayer tonight, uplifted hands all over the house. Amen. Amen. Let's come. Bless you, Lord, tonight as we come to you on this side of eternity. God, we thank you today, Lord, for the privilege and honor to be here, Lord. We thank you, God, for all that you've done. Lord, I ask you tonight, Father, to move the mighty place. I pray, oh God, you would tonight, Lord, to lead God to rest, Father. Lord, we ask you, God, to stir up the heart tonight. Lord, I pray you to move tonight, Father, Lord, and just allow the Lord, Lord, Spirit, God, to just Lord, be able to flow through this place, God. I don't want to touch anybody tonight, all of us are done. God, we ask you tonight, Father, to look at that situation, Lord. Father, I ask you to deal with their heart and say the Lord. Lord, I pray that you would tonight, Father, this moves now, God, I pray that you would help us, Lord, to be obedient to that, God. I ask you to do now, the Lord, fresh to me, but Lord, it's only you can, God. I pray that you would tonight, Lord, it's good. Thank the Lord tonight to be able to pray. I'm thanking today. I thought about this day that we're living and thinking today of how the Lord seemed fit to send another revival. Amen to our community. I thought, you know, to help the people, to help the churches, uh, uh, to help every individual tonight, amen, that wants help. And I'll tell you, if there's a time that we need help, it's tonight, amen, right. amen this hour that we're living in. But I sure appreciate what God's doing, appreciate what He's going to do, amen. amen. I thought, you know, if you look around and seeing all the things that take place and all the things are happening, I thought about we better soak every bit that we can of it up. Yeah. Amen. Like a sponge, we better take every bit of it in. Yeah. We're going to need it tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If, they, if they don't come tonight and you live and you make it, hey, you'll need him tomorrow. Yeah. I need him today. I'll need him tomorrow. Amen. Yeah. We'll need him the next day. We're going to need him. Yeah. Amen. Until he calls us out of here. Yeah. I sure appreciate that tonight. Union Hill, come on. Pray for them young folks at Union Hill. Yeah. Touch them, Lord. Pray for them now. Good to see young folks, ain't it? Step out for the Lord. Help them, Lord, tonight.
Thank you, Lord, tonight. God be mine. Baseball field hit a home run. 
Amen. 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 The top would have come off this morning. I thought about them here singing for Jesus. Amen. And we're the quietest bunch in the country. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Think the Lord. about it tonight. And we wonder why that our young folks don't want to go to church. Amen. 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 Talk about it. Praise the Lord. It's the truth. Yeah. Amen. 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 When the twice plucked up by the roots. Yeah. Amen. People sit back and just look at them. Yeah. Amen. 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 Our young people need somebody to get behind them. Amen. 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 If we can't get behind them, God help us. How are we going to have revival? Don't tell them girls, come on. Yeah. Amen. I will obey the Lord in you. Praise the Lord. Come on. I'm glad to be here tonight. Happy man. I've been here tonight. It's been a good preaching. Thank you, Amen. Yes. I ran a bus for out 19 years. We were banging. And I hauled his youngest mother with his son. Yeah. And that's the first thing that I've seen in church since I quit. Yeah. That girl played the piano. I hauled her. Praise the Lord. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Appreciate the goodness of the Lord and uh, good to be back here in revival meeting. We thank the Lord for uh, the services thus far, the good liberty that we felt here each night. And it's good to have some precious souls with us here tonight. Good to see you, Brother Ross. How about testifying for the Lord for us? Say something for the Lord. How about testifying for us? Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. 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 Amen. Appreciate these great soldiers in the Lord, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Give me a little bit on my on the monitors there. And before everybody gets mad at the sound man, if he wasn't here doing this, it'd be awful hard for people that like me that can't hear. Yeah. Amen. So let's pray for him. I'm gonna sing these uh, soldiers here an old song. Amen. I don't. I wish I could sing like Dale. <laughs> I do. I've told him that a thousand yeah. times. But listen to the words of this old song. Well, I found a model church and worship there today. It made me think of good old times before my hair was gray. The meeting house was finer being than they were years ago. But I found out when I went in, it was not built for soul. The sexton did not set me down. Away back by the door, he knew that I was old and dead yeah. and saw that I was poor. He must have been a Christian man. Yeah. Yeah. He led me boldly through along the aisles yeah. of that crowded church <laughs> to find a pleasant view. I wish you'd heard the singing wife. It had the old time ring. The preacher said with the trumpet voice, let all the people sing. Oh, coronation was the tune. The music of word roll. I thought I heard the angel choir strike on their harps of gold. I tell you why yeah. it did me good to sing those hymns once more. Yeah. I felt just like yeah. some wreck marine yeah. who gives a glimpse of shore. It made me want to lay aside this weather be and thorn and anchor in that blessed port forever from the storm. Dear wife, the toil will soon be over. The victory soon be won. The shining strength is just ahead. Our race is nearly run. Well, near Happy shore, her hope so bright and fair. Thank God we'll never sin no more. There'll be no sorrow there. There'll be no sorrow there in heaven above, where all is love. There'll be no sorrow. 
Most of the young generation ain't never heard that. Yeah, one. buddy. Oh, man. Oh, that's I'll good tell you, one. that old time singing's got something still in my soul. <laughs> Amen. It does something to me. If you have your Bibles, turn tonight to the book of Kings. I appreciate all the men of God churches represented here tonight. Amen. Everybody that's come. If you have it, there you go, buddy. In Second uh, Kings chapter number 2 and verse number 14. Verse number 14. Uh, well, I want to start reading at verse number 12. We won't preach but about 10 minutes here and get right out of the way. And uh, I don't know if the, uh, I just, I'm just going to be right out blunt. I've been praying for, uh, Brother Dale told us last night, they was hands that's raised. I know the night that I preached, there was folks here that confessed that they needed God. I want you to know that I'm coming after you tonight. Yeah. Amen. I want you to I want you to understand that there ain't no need of beating around the bus. Right. Amen. We want to see you get right with the Lord. We want to see you get right with Jesus tonight. Amen. Amen. Very familiar scripture. The Bible said in chapter 2 of 2 Kings and verse 12, and Elisha saw it and he cried my father my father the chariot of israel and the horsemen thereof and he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into pieces he took up also the mantle of elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of jordan by the bank of the jordan and he took the mantle of Elijah and, he, and fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither. And Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets, were, uh, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. All right, that's all we'll read tonight. Amen. Now, we can look at the Old Testament, and uh, even in the New Testament, and see things that we can, uh, if God will open our eyes, uh, amen, we can see things that we can bring right down out uh, to where we live at right today. Amen. We can. We can see it right, right now. I, I ask these uh, our dear soldiers in Christ that, how that they may testify. I knew what I was going to preach on tonight. There's a reason why. How that I asked them to testify uh, because somebody, amen, had to uh, blaze a trail. Uh, somebody had to stand in the gap uh, when everybody else was backsliding and everybody else was compromising. Everybody else was laying down. Uh, somebody Somebody had to stand up, my brother, and make up the heads for God. Now, amen. I'd like to preach tonight by the help of God just a minute. Amen. On a, a, a brother, the same Jordan, but a different mantle. Amen. I feel like that's where we're at right now. Amen. The same Jordan, but brother, it's a different mantle. Amen. Now, let me bring you into part where that we read tonight. Amen. Here we find the great man of God, Elijah. We don't know much about him. Brother, we just find him coming on the scene right after Ahab had married Jezebel. And the Bible said that Jezebel, amen, her father was of the Zidonians, and they worshiped the God Baal. Amen. That God that didn't have no hands. That God that didn't have no eyes or no ears. And the Bible said that they bowed down. Amen. It's one thing. Uh, brother for you to worship a false yeah, god uh, yeah. but it's another thing for you to try uh, uh, to turn a whole nation uh, yeah. uh, brother to worship yeah. that god uh, and that's exactly what Jezebel did uh, amen she didn't only turn uh, the king of Israel to a worshiper of Baal uh, uh, in her mind uh, she is going to try to turn uh, brother the whole nation uh, amen to worship that false god uh, well brother when that happened uh, amen just out of a here come a man by the name of Elijah. And the Bible said, and when he showed up on the scene, amen, the first thing that he said, and brother, he didn't have no credentials. And we don't know if he's a Baptist. And we don't know if he's a Pentecostal. And we just know that he was a man. A brother sent from God. And the Bible said, and that Elijah come on the scene and said, there'll be no water on the space of the earth. Three and a half 
five years. Amen. The Bible said that Ahab, a brother, began to try from that day forward to pursue after Elijah. Amen. You remember the story how that Elijah went up to the top of the mountain and all of the prophets of Baal came. And the question was asked, a brother, how long hold are you between two opinions? And the Bible said that they, a brother, went up to Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal, and they began to cry out, amen, and say, oh, Baal, I send the fire. Oh, Baal, I send the fire. But no fire came. And then the Bible said, at the time of the yeah. evening, a sacrifice that Elijah tore down at the altar of Baal. And brother began to build back at the altar of God. And brother, just a few words. Hey Amen. You remember the story how the water was poured out. Hey Amen. In the trenches and all of that. And the Bible said of the God, I sent down the fire on the carnal. And all Israel had brother testified that day and said, Let the God of Israel and let him be the God. Well, brother, this man, brother, all of a sudden have become well known. Elijah, the great prophet of God. In one place, the Bible said he was the chariot of Israel. Hallelujah. He was the man that God, that brother, had his hand on. And I'm going to tell you tonight, there's a lot of people in the church house, but there's very few that God has got his hand on. Oh yes, I know the Bible said that there was many prophets that day trying to cry and to shim the fire down. But until the man of God I called on the God of heaven, I brother the fire never failed. I read the Bible said he meant that after Elijah I went through his little cold spell. And you remember how the Jezebel said about this time tomorrow and you'll be as the prophet. Was. I scared him half to death. And brother, let me say tonight, we don't need to be afraid of Jezebel. In this day that we live, and we got a God that's on our side. And we got a God tonight. Hey, man, that's never failed us. And let me tell you something I heard that I've seen in the scriptures today that I've never seen before. And the Bible said, and when Saul was on the road to Damascus, of the Jesus appeared to him at midday. Yeah. And you know what he said? He said, Lord, I saw Saul. Why persecutest thou me? Amen. But I never read how were he ever Amen. persecuted Jesus yeah. personally. I never read how were he did anything to Jesus yeah. with his hands. But why did he ask that question? Why persecutest thou me? And because the people that he was, amen, brother, calls him to blaspheme. And that was him. And church tonight, let me tell you, we're not here, brother, all alone. And the wind of God that's on our side tonight. He said, preacher, I don't understand. Well, if you took your hand and you slapped Dale's little boy Malachi, yeah. you might as well slap him. Right. Hallelujah to God. And brother and sister tonight, yeah. that's the way God looks at it. If you're going to come against a brother, one of his children in the church, what the Bible says, if God be for us, who then can be against us? Pray for me. We're going to take a little Bible trip tonight. Hey Amen. This old man of God. Hey Amen. Was commissioned by God to come out of the cave. You remember that? How the Bible said the fire came through. How the wind blew. Hey, all of that, the earthquake. But God wasn't in any of that. But in that still, small voice. Hey Amen. Elijah wrapped himself up in the mantle and said, All right, I'll go again. And when he went down in the holler, there was somebody down there yeah. plowing. Hey Amen. With a 12 yoke of oxen. Who was that young boy? Hey Amen. It was Elisha. Hallelujah to God. God's getting yeah. ready now. Hey Amen. To bring a replacement in. That's a good thing about God. Brother, if you let God have 
this time and let God do it. And brother, the church should never die. That's right. The church should never. Amen, brother. I brother get weaker and weaker. God always, you say, I don't understand. When Moses died, Joshua came. God has always got somebody. Brother, if they'll feel the shoes. But the problem is, and they don't want to feel the shoes. And the problem is, and they do not their own cisterns. And they're doing their own thing. You hold on a minute, sinner. I'm coming down your hole. Amen. Here in just a minute. And the Bible said that Elijah, the man of God, I went down in the valley. I never read where he said, hey, I want you to follow me. I never read where he said, hey, I want you to be. Amen. My brother, my apprentice. I never read, never seen none of that. But I read what the Bible said. And that he took that mantle and he just laid it over. And Elisha, and the Bible said, and that Elisha, I went and told mom and dad goodbye. Yeah. Amen. Smoked the oxen. I sacrificed. I brother it all day long. And took up after Elijah. There ought to be somebody in your life that's got a godly standard. That's got holiness. Now let me tell you something. Hey, all of the people in the church have this so critical about everything. Always finding fault with this. Finding fault with that. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever hear them shout? Do you ever hear them testify? Have you ever hear them? Hey, then get in the service. I know, sir. The Bible said spots they are in your feast of charity. Wandering stars are foaming out the mouth. Oh, God. I don't listen to them. At the find you somebody that's got the soul of God. And brother, I don't care how many years right. you've been saved. Right. I don't feel like you're at the top of the totem pole. Hey, always have somebody a little I'm more spiritual than you are. Have somebody a little bit higher up in rank than you are. But the problem is they just ain't many in this day I don't look to. Hey. That's right. 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 You ain't right. forgotten my text, have you? Come on. Different mantle, same Jordan. Yeah. Keep that in your mind. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. The Bible said that Elijah, Elisha, I followed the man of God, Elijah. I never read where he'd done much. I just had a basin of water. And before he'd sit down and eat, Brother Dale, he'd get that basin of water and he'd pour it out. And the man of God would wash his hands and then he'd sit down and eat. All he did was follow and all he did was watch. Hey, that young man, young lady, hey, brother, you got to put some time in before God starts using you. And most people want to come right in. Hey, man, jump right on the top. And most of them's in it for the pride anyway. They're ready for the self going And the, it don't work that way. Hey, brother, let me tell you something. If you're in it for God, it'll be manifested in your life. Elijah, I had something in Elijah. Yeah. There ain't many people got in the church. Yeah. He had a boy that was willing yeah. to surrender all yeah. and follow him. Yeah. 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 I started yeah. preaching. If a preacher would have told me to quit chewing chewing gum, I wouldn't argue with him. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you right. I love the Holy Ghost. I love to go and cry and shout. And, hey man, I'm telling you. And I watched them men of God. That was before me. I thought I want to dress the way they dress. I want to act the way they act. I want to conduct my life the way they conduct their life. And what made you say that? Because I've seen what was happening on them. And when they went down to the house of God, I was watching the power of the Lord on them. Amen. God, give me a little taste of that. And I thought, God, I want more. I want everything I can give. That is your job. Amen. You ought to be such a standout. Yeah. And such a black thumb, hey man, a black child, or whatever the word is, a black sheep, you ought to be a standout. Uh -huh. And somebody said, Preacher, I don't fit in. You ain't supposed yeah. to fit in. Yeah. We're the people of God. We're the children of the living God tonight. Amen. 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 Amen.
read into all that and preach it, I'm going to get on my message. The Bible says that Elijah finally come to that time in his life. He looked back to Elisha, and I guess the prophets had done found it out. Oh, there was prophets that day. Uh -huh. Now, let me tell you something. There's a lot of mammals going through the land today. Yeah. They, are. Yeah, they are. There's a lot of mammals. Happy and you Lord. argue with me all day how it's okay for you to do this. And how it's okay for you to wear this. And it's okay for you to go there and go do that. That's okay. That's fine. Just wait till we get to Jordan. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. When we get to Jordan, we'll find out. One man changed his gospel. I changed his doctrine. Amen. Of preaching right and preaching on sin. He's decided in his ministry that you're saved and you couldn't get out. Amen. A dear preacher friend of mine went to his deathbed. Amen. He looked at him and said, All right. Amen. What you preaching it was good enough to live by. And now you're getting ready to die. Is it good enough to die by? Tears come in that preacher's eyes. He looked up at him and he said, No, preacher. It ain't good enough to die by. But most of them jokers that change are right in the middle because they got sin in their life. Are you hearing me? And the church probably don't know it. And the wife probably don't know it. The children probably don't know it. But there's something going on. Are y'all listening? Yeah. There's something going on. Yeah. And there's not many people know, but God does. Yeah. God yeah. knows it. Praise the Lord. When I first got saved, yeah. I first got saved, I was, God took me down to Bethel. And that's where Jerry, that's where Elijah said, I'm going down to Bethel today. You tarry here and you stay. Uh, but Elisha said, no, sir, buddy. Man, I can't do that. I followed you. And that's where some of you are at in your life. Hey, man, some of you young, you're just now in Bethel. Hey, you're just now right there at Bethel. You're young in the Lord. Hey, man, they're going to try to put new Bibles on you. Hey, man, by the way, let me just say something. I appreciate the old time singing in this yeah. I can't meet it. Hey, Amen. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a spirit in this contemporary Come stuff. On. Hey man, there is. Yeah. Oh, man, it's even made itself a mantle. Uh -huh. uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, but brother, when you get down yonder in Jordan, yeah. I'm not too sure uh, that thing's gonna get the job done. God took him down to Bethel. <laughs> it's much that you you got to call about every Sunday to find out where they're at. Come on, they can tell you they're saved. Yeah, they can tell you they got a mantle. Come on, I'm gonna tell you something, brother. Yeah, you're gonna need something genuine. Uh -huh. You see, you're gonna die. All them nice houses and nice automobiles yeah. here in just a few days. Hey man, I'm not trying to embarrass him. Oh. Hey man, I ain't. I wouldn't do that for nothing. But I'm going to use him tonight because he's here. And they found several spots on my Uncle Dan that's here with us. Now God worked a miracle on him. But now he went up to the, the, the university two days ago and right now we're in limbo. We're waiting to hear. Hey man, you think you think him nice cars. Hello. You think a Georgia mansion's going to yeah. matter? Oh. Hey, man, you know what's on a man's mind? Yeah. Jordan. Yeah. You know what's on a man's mind? Yeah. Jordan. You know why the devil keeps some of you so busy? You know why the devil keeps some yeah. of you running? Hey, man, he's got you running to and fro. You don't ever think right. that what Paul said in the book of Hebrews, it is appointed. Yeah. I want some to man to die. Yeah. Oh, God. You need to look over at your neighbor. 
Bible and say, I'm going to die. Amen. You're going to die. You're going to die after a while. And brother, when you die, then eternity will just begin. All right. Are you with me, brother Roger? Good to see you, preacher man. The Bible said, amen, that Elijah, Elisha followed him down to Bethel. And then after that, amen, he goes through the middle age of his life. He said, now I'm going down to Jericho. And said, I want you to stay here in Bethel. And don't go with me to Jericho. Just, just stay right here. Oh, Elisha said, no, buddy. Amen. Hallelujah. It was just a few chapters ago yeah. that when the king of Israel got sick, he sent 50 men of the captain out. And the Bible said the captain and his 50 come and said, man of God, I come down from Carmel and see the king. And Elijah said, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume the captain and his 50. Oh, fire fell down. I don't think that Elijah it's gone. Right. And I should go to turn away now, oh. a brother, from this great yeah. man of God. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ain't it a sign? Yeah. What the mantles has turned into? That's right. Yeah. 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 Come on. I was preaching in church this year, and I'm telling you, they shouted. But it was like a ball game shout. Yeah, come on. Come on. Happy morning. Happy morning. It really was. It was like Junior scored a touchdown. Yeah. I did, whoo. But when I was a young boy, people would be a crying. Uh-huh. It'd be like a teapot simmering yeah. on the oven. Yeah. Hey, are you hearing me? Yeah. It'd be like water on the oven yeah. getting ready to boil. Uh-huh. I mean, it just been working it up. It almost yeah. like there's a fight in the car yeah. to hold it back. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. But something would boil down inside of them. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. And it wouldn't be like a touchdown. Woo! Yeah. I mean, brother, it would come oh. up from the belly. Yeah. Hallelujah to yeah. God. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about the real thing, brother. Yeah. The real thing. If you yeah. ain't got it, you need it. Yeah. You gotta have it when you get down to Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. He said, Terry here, Jericho. Yeah. I'm going down to Bethel. I'm going to Jericho. And I said, no, sir, I'm going with you. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that's about if, if time lets me live. That's just probably my time. I'm 45. That's just about where I'm at in life. But I had two men tonight to testify. 88? 89. They've done come to Bethel. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? Yeah. Jordan's in. Oh. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Keep shouting, Ross! Keep shouting! It's making me want to follow you! He's been preaching strong in us, Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Come on. Come on. I just said, I ain't got one more place to go now. Yeah. Just tarry here. He wouldn't want him to tarry. He's a trying him. Yeah. And the Lord's going to try your heart. Amen. Amen. You say you love him on Sunday? Yeah. And then things are going to come up on Monday. Yeah. Right. He's going to try you right. to see the rage yeah. of your heart if they're real. Right. Right. Amen. He is. He's going to prove yeah. them to them. And when he gets down to your face, you're going to be a solid piece of gold when you get down to Jordan. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad you're here tonight, Brother Walter. Yeah. Brother Walter, Sunday school teacher at the church I pastor. Yeah. What kind of tree was that, Walter? Nick, Nick Tim. Yeah, the next. A nectarine tree. 
he said that him and his daddy had a nectarine tree and said that thing had never put out. Ain't that right? It had never put out. And his daddy got cancer and he's getting ready to die. Walked out to the window. And that thing, for the first time ever, that thing's a hanging in wads of nectarines. And he said, Walter, it's time to cut her down. Walter said, Abby, you don't, what do you say that for? That thing's a hanging fully loaded. That thing's loaded. What are you talking about cut it down? Walter said the Lord showed him in the spirit. Amen. It wasn't time for the nectarine tree. It was time for him. I'm getting ready to run. Woo! Hallelujah. Brother, I want to be hanging fully loaded. I want to be hanging fully loaded. What's our dad's husband's name? You remember what Charles saw? You remember what? How many of y'all know Charles Watts? Watts. Y'all know Charles Watts in here? Walking up the steps. Help me now, correct me. You just correct me if I'm wrong, but I won't tell it wrong. Well, standing at the end of his house was an old man. All bent over. Told his son, said, look at that old man. His son thought, well, I guess it's the, the medicine or something dad's on. Ain't nobody standing there. Yeah. Said he walked a few more steps. Said, look at that old man. Yeah. Then he walked a few more steps and he said, I was a young man. Yeah. Oh, oh, Beautiful young man full of strength. God was a shining. God was a shining. He's walking on the other side of Jordan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's walking on the other side of Jordan. I'm going with you, preacher man. Yeah. While they went down across the river. Yeah. Took that mantle off. Who's got a jacket in here? Just throw one. I don't care what it looks like. Take that jacket off. I reckon that's what a mantle was, wasn't it? Help him, As far as I know, that's what it was. Bible said he'd wrapped himself in. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Took that mantle down there to Jordan. And a little yeah. young preacher standing there watching him. Yeah. Took that mantle. He smoked the water. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody be real quiet. Oh. I hear singing. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Can you hear? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a sound of sweet, eh? I hear voices <laughs> up in glory calling me. I hear voices <laughs> up in glory calling me. Praise the Lord. Can you hear them? The Bible said when he smoked that water that he man took the man, took the man, put it back on. And the Bible said that the water parted hither and thither. And they're walking now through joy. Yeah. <laughs> and Elijah looks back over his shoulder and says, Now little preacher, you've come through Bethel and you've come through Jericho. What is it now you like to have? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. What you want from me? Yeah. You been a following me? He said, I'd like to have a double portion Amen. Yeah. of what you got, man of God. Yeah. Woo, that's a hard thing. God yeah. bless me. Yeah. And nevertheless, if you see me go away, yeah. and the Bible said that all of a sudden that a whirlwind. Yeah. First time I ever seen that a tornado, amen, didn't cause everything to go ruckus. This was yeah. a special tornado. That's right. This was a special whirlwind. It come right down on fire. 
Yeah. The child was on fire. Right. It got right down in the man of God. Yeah. Elijah yeah. stepped on board. Yeah. And the Bible said the child of fire and the horses on fire took the man of God outside. Yeah. But Elijah pulled on the reins. Yeah. Said, hold on just a minute. Yeah. 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 Said, so let me take this man. And he dropped the man. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the Bible said that Elisha yeah. went and wrapped yeah. the yeah. yeah, I remember the first time the Lord anointed me to preach. Yeah. Lord, have mercy! I've never felt nothing like that in my life. It most fact it ruined me because yeah. now if I don't get it every time like that, and that was been I was 16, 17 years old, I'm 45 now. If I don't get it like that every time now, there it kills me. Yeah. Lord God, it kills me. Yeah. Now I'll never forget what that felt like. Yeah. And Elisha put the man along. And now it's testing time. There go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. He's on this side of the river. And now he comes back. He's got to get back on the other side. That's where all the prophets are. Are y'all listening? Back on the back. Don't go sleep on me now. Come on. Yeah. I, I just like to ask you right now in your life, where you at? Yeah. Come on. Some of you at Jordan, you ain't even got enough sense to get right. Yeah. That's it. Some of you, oh, your days Lord. are numbered. Your hours, you got just so many hours. You're going to be in hell. Yeah. Oh, now, preacher. Yeah. Now, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Elisha's yeah. are getting ready to find out if what he's got is real. That's it. And the Bible said that he went back down to the river and he took the mantle off and did it just identical. Amen. Don't need any new worship. No. Don't need any new Bibles. Don't need any new singings. Don't need anything new. Anything got new on it, you better watch it. Because your mouth said, seek for the old. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said that he smoked them waters yeah. and said, Where is the God of Elijah? Yeah. Yeah. I remember after Mommy got saved, yeah. Yeah. she come home. We had television. Me and Daddy liked watching them movies. I didn't know nothing about God, didn't know nothing about Jesus, didn't know nothing about nothing. Yeah. But when them real, when them real exciting scenes would come on, make anybody look up. Mama had that little old black book over. I didn't know what that book was. She had that little old black book crawled up in her lap. And she was sitting there, me and Mama and Daddy, with me and, me and my daddy. And we were watching a movie. And I kept a notice of what she was doing over there. And I thought, here's a big scene on the movie. Surely she'll look up from that black book. Surely she'll look up from that black book. But she didn't for just hours after hours. She just sat there at that black book. And just read that black book. Hey, Amen. Just on and on and on. I remember, I remember when I found out who the God of Kathy Nunley was. It was on August the 8th, 1990. Mama, when did you get saved? 1987. That's when God came into her life. In 1993, I went to the altar and I said, Where's the God of Kathy Nunley? <laughs> That's really what's saying. I mean, maybe not out loud, but that's what I was saying. Bless his holy name. Hey, something got down inside of me. Hey, something changed me. Friend, you're here tonight. You're coming down to the cross. You're coming down to old Jordan. Have you got what it's going to take? Come on back up here. You got a song. Start playing for me. I want to live just the way you men live. Yeah. I come to church tonight, I saw Ross. I was tickled when he was here. Yeah. I said, Ross testified he's like a cock gun. Yeah. That's right. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah. I looked over Brother Walter tonight and I said, there's some heroes in here tonight. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you mean y'all about down to Jordan? Yeah. Hey, y'all? Yeah. Well, preacher, that's sad. You crazy. 
Yeah, that's right. Let's get him. Let's get him. Praise the Lord. See, you're talking to those that have no hope. Yeah. <laughs> if, if we wake up in the presence of the Lord, and the Lord is seated at the right hand of the Father, and there's a river coming out of the throne where he's seated. Yeah. And there's a rainbow round about that throne. Yeah. And the four beasts are crying. You're telling me, amen, that, I, I'm, that these people are, amen, there's something sad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Man, a lie. Yeah. It almost makes you want to die, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I made that statement one time. Yeah. People talked about me for that, uh, for that, after that, and they just don't understand what I'm talking about. I mean, if you really believe this. Yeah. That's it. Some of you here tonight, you're not ready. You know you're not ready. Yeah. Well, every head's bowed, just to see. Uh, I would to God that God would open up the lid of hell and let you see where you're going yeah. from. I asked a lady the other day, she was talking about a friend of hers. I said, is she a Christian? She said, well, I said, stop. You yeah. done answered it. Let me say that again. I was talking to a lady the other day, and she was talking about this lady that went to church, and I said, is she a Christian? And she said, well, I, I said, stop. She ain't no Christian. You ain't got to look up at that light and wonder if that light's on, do you? When you get the light on, darkness absolutely disappears. It's gone. Some of you here tonight, you're going to die and go to hell if you don't get out of your prideful ways. I know what you've got's good enough to live by. It'll get you down to Bethlehem. It'll get you down to Jericho. But what about Jordan? What about Jordan? I want to ask you tonight. You men that raised your hand the other night, I pray. I have prayed diligently for you. I'm looking for you in this tent. There's so many people here. I can't find you right now. I'd like for you to raise your hand. You that was here Tuesday night when I preached, if you raised your hand, would you raise them? God bless you. I've been praying for you, friend. I've been calling on God. Where's the other one at? Is he here tonight? Where's the other one at? Brother Dale told me last night to pray. He said there was folks that raised their hand. You that raised your hand last night, would you raise them again tonight you lost? You're back tonight. Would you raise them up there? I'm lost. Raise them up there. Are you here tonight? You see, I don't know if the other gentleman's here. I don't know if the people that Brother Dale preached to last night's back, they may not ever be back. They may not ever come back. How about you tonight? You're here tonight. You're not where you need to be with God. Can you raise your hand and say, that's me? I'm lost. I don't, I'm not ready. I need prayer. I'm afraid of hell. I'm afraid of judgment. Can you raise your hand? Can you do it right now? Preacher, pray for me. These people in here right now, they need God. Could you do that? Can you do that right now? Lord, would you send us a revival? I'm so sick and tired, God. I'm preaching and sweating every night and there's nobody getting saved. Lord, it's just so discouraging. Lord, I'll go, God. I'll go till I die. You know, Bill, I know Dale will. I know these others will. Lord, we like to just have one good revival. Lord, we just go to meeting after meeting and nobody's are getting saved. Nobody's are getting right. Nobody's are getting... Lord, them that do say they get right, Lord, you don't see them no more. Lord, would you send revival to this little community? Please, Lord, pretty please. Would you do something here, God, that our eyes ain't seen in years? This gentleman, Lord, that raised his hand, help him tonight, God. Don't let the devil take him home again. There's others that need to come. Please send me back. You can raise your hands. While he plays right now, would you come? All over this tent tonight, would you come? Would you get up right now out of your seat? You don't want to die and go to hell. You don't want to burn in that eternal flame. You're going to remember this meeting. Look up here. You're going to remember that. I work 10, 11. I'm not putting the blow. I know Dale has. 10, 11 hours today. Drove all the way over here. It's going to be used as a witness against you one day. Oh, preacher, I'll be all right. You will. 
You yeah. will. And because God don't send you to hell tonight, you're going to think you'll be okay tomorrow. Yeah. And because God don't send you to hell tomorrow, you think you'll be okay another day. And Solomon said, I watched this, and because it was like this, the hearts of the sons of men were evil. Amen. But you mark her down. Yeah, you look up here at me and you listen to me. You mark her down. God is not mocked. And whatsoever you sow, there's a reaping day coming. And if you're not right with God, you're going to burn in hell. Another 10 seconds and we're going to the house. You're choosing your own destiny. You don't understand. No, honey, you don't understand. Come on, Chase. It's ain't kickball. That's it. Right. You're coming down to Jordan. Right. Seen so many people leave here. Yeah. Lost. Yeah. 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 So many people. Yeah. So many funerals I preached. First thing I, first question I asked the people. I don't care about their money. Uh -uh. You preacher, the first thing you want to ask, is there any words of comfort that you can speak to the family? That's right. Now look up up here at me. Yeah. When you die, you go to Jordan. If they call me to preach your funeral, here's what I'm going to ask your family. Was he saved? Yeah. Was he a real Christian? That's it. Did he love the Lord? Yeah. Was he really genuine? Yeah. That family will know. Oh, yeah, they'll know. Boy, I'll be able to get up there and I'll say, bless his holy name. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to have to look at your family right in the eyes if you're not saved. And all I'm going to do is try to preach to them that's there that's not saved. Because I ain't got nothing to say about you while you're burning and screaming in hell. Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival and let it begin in you. Good night and God bless you. Here you go, Isaac. Here, Isaac's gone. See you tomorrow night. God bless all of you. Love you, Thank <laughs> you.